How to create a PowerPoint presentation. Start by going to the Start button, going to All Programs, finding Microsoft Office, then locating Microsoft Power Office PowerPoint. Double-click on PowerPoint. You'll note that the PowerPoint presentation opens up, the program opens up. We have a slide indicating toolbar on the right, and we have a getting started tool board on the right. If we choose design, a number of pre-programmed slides will appear. we scroll down, you can see our number of slides. For the purpose of this application, we will black slide. As the slide loads, you'll note that there are two boxes in the slide. One is a title box, the other is a subtitle box. If we click in the center of the title block, it opens up into a text box format. We go up to the toolbar up top, size, choose our style, center justify, and over here we have to choose our color. If we check on more click on more colors, yellow is a very effective color for the black slide. Click OK. Then we go to our keyboard and type in our text. Once we've got our text in place, we click outside the box, and there we have our title. If we click on the bottom subtitle box to highlight it, then we can cut. There we have our first slide. To gain access to our next slide, and find new slide, and again it brings up the slide template. Looking in the title box, Choosing our font, it defaults to an appropriate size. Again, that's changeable. Center justified. Choose our color. And click outside the box. Now, to add text to your PowerPoint presentation. In the subtitle box, you'll note that it defaults to a bullet. If we right-click on the subtitle box, uh, we can add text here. If we dies, etc., it actually defaults to Arial. So let's stay consistent and change the font accordingly. We want to make sure it's left justified. In order for that to work, we do need to highlight the text. And right click inside the box. Next. We initiate the box again by clicking around the area. Here it initiates another bullet. If we no longer want a bullet, we back fax the bullet out, hit enter again, and let's send justify and continue to add more text. Good. Now we have slide two. Click on new slide and let's go forward and add a picture to our PowerPoint presentation. We can do this and we highlight the box, cut, get rid of that box, then we go up to insert choose picture and it'll give us an option from clipart or from file. Clipart is a program library of potential pictures in certain categories. For this demonstration we are going to choose one from file. 
it will bring up potential on your computer. From there we choose a picture, click insert, I have a picture that overlaps, it pre-sizes it. So on the perimeter of the picture, our little sizing, this little green bullet here allows us to rotate the picture if necessary. In this case what we want to do is just size. So grab a corner and drag it in, it shrinks the picture. We use the cross arrows to reposition the picture where we want it. Oops. Click on new slide. Let's now combine the two procedures. And we click box, choose our font, stay with the size, style, and color. Okay, once we've got our text added, then we can go up to insert, choose picture, then file, highlight our picture, and once again insert. And again, resize. Is it till we get it to where we want it? Click on the outset, and there we have text and picture. Now, additional features that can add to the in, um, entertaining value of a PowerPoint presentation. For example, we can have text appear and disappear. We can have pictures that can appear and disappear. So let's choose slide two and use that as an example. So if we highlight our text, right click, go to custom animation, a toolbar right appears, and we can go to add effects, click entrance, and we can say appear, and now we have a little one that initiates a custom animation for this additional text. You along, let's text, right click, custom animation, Add effects, entrance, this time let's call it swish. And it adds an interesting effect. Okay. So it is acknowledging we have a center justified and we have a special effect. Going up to add effects again, while we still have our text highlighted, let's click exit and also swish. Now the text actually fall away. Now, each time number attached to things, this initiates the clicks. Special loop of initiate. This next time I click it, the second uh, add effects will initiate, and so on. This can also be done for pictures. Go into your picture, right click, custom animation, add effects, entrance, and let's spiral in. Okay, once we see the one, we know that's a finish. Let's do the same with our text here. Right height, right click, custom animation, add effects, entrance, and let's fly in. It'll initiate the bottom. We can actually go to this section here and say, no, we want it to fly in from the right. Okay, so we get the one. We can initiate the same thing on our picture. Right click on our picture. Custom animation, add effects, entrance, and let's make this one bounce. Now, once we see our two, we have a completed slide rotation. I'll pull up to the top toolbar, select slide show, view show. Now, this is our slide. Once we click the mouse, it initiates the next slide. Once we click the mouse again, our first text is shown. Click the mouse again. Our second set begins to show. Click the mouse again, and our exiting feature kicks in. Again, clicking the mouse initiates our second slide. Clicking mouse again initiates our picture. 
Again, clicking the mouse indicates the sec the next by clicking the mouse extra features. And that's the end of the slideshow. That is how you create a PowerPoint presentation. I encourage with the different features, and I wish you the best of luck in creating a very effective PowerPoint presentation.